<laughs> I got a different different kind of smoke. That's it. Sage stick. Right, the incense. Ain't open it up no other way than this one. What up, what up, what up, everybody? I would love to give y'all the whole joint because I need that in my life right now. Even after the 45th time, that, that's still, that's still fine. That's still you nice. 45 times? Probably. <laughs> the whole project. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> love. That one joint. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I played it twice. <laughs> it most What's definitely both, though. <laughs> Welcome mm-hmm. back, man. Welcome back to another episode of the Ladies Free Podcast. And we got a, we got a family member back to see us, man. He just yeah. came back into town, you know. Not literally. I but, like that introduction. <laughs> you know, that, that's that's family there. This he needs no introduction, of course. Um, Maybe what his third appearance, fourth, third, something like that. Third or fourth. Uh, I think it's, I think it's the fourth. Maybe oh, twenty of. I'm on every episode. This right. Oh so. <laughs> <Right. laughs> uh, yeah, but I say he most definitely uh, on every episode. He's an unofficial member of the uh, uh, Free Podcast. That. He just pop in and pop out, and and we allow it. That's all good. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, and if everybody having questions about, hey man, who, who that, who, what's that music y'all be playing in the intro? And I, hey, that's this man right here. That's Devin, man. No introduction needed, but round of applause will be given. Respect, put some respect on his name. I get respect. a lot of people that hear me from the pod too. They be like, I heard your song on the pod, then I went to check out the other music. He's dope. Like the messages be coming in, and so I appreciate that, man. That's love. Oh, that's what's up, man. Glad. <coughs> We're missing a member of Hustlers, Inc. today. That's what we celebrating today, the Hustlers, Inc. project. Um, shout out to Vic, man. Couldn't be with us today, but we will get him on soon. We definitely will. Just a round of applause. Shout out Vic to Vic Green, working on his, uh, his solo project right now. He, he in the lab part at work. He, he'll be out soon. Yes, sir. A round of applause to him. So uh, this is a, a EP, right? Yeah. Did you guys put out? Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think it's about like five, five yeah, five mm-hmm. songs on it. Uh, I got a quick question before we get into the album. Um, how did Hustles in, e, 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 even get started? Like, you know, just where where did it come from? Man, that's a good question. Um, man, me and Vic been doing music together probably over fifteen years. It uh started with um, wow. we was on a record label together called Naturally Rolling. We came in a solo artist. And then we just kind of hit it off instantly. And then I, um, I had uh, something I was working on before I joined Natural Rolling called uh, Get Rich Entertainment. That's what I started with. So then me and Vic shortened that up and we became GRE and we was a group first doing that. So then, you know, years passed, we ain't put out no music, wasn't active. And, you know, once we decided to come back outside, like, man, let's rebrand this thing and, and put it together. So that became Hustle Zinc and here we are. That's what's up, man. I like it. That's what's up. I didn't even realize y'all did music like that long together. That's yeah. that's a long. That's a we long toured time. together and everything, like so. Damn, that's a long time. I was the best man in his wedding. Like that's my dog. Like, <clears throat> hey, but you know what? I I guess I could have. I guess I could have. Um, I should have known that because it ain't often that two cats get together and sound as blended and as, as y'all the and mess the way that y'all do. Like y'all really got a chemistry. I can see that on the. <clears throat> on in the music i can hear that in the music is what i meant and it's weird because i just told you that like i i noticed like normally when somebody take their solo talents to a to a group or vice versa you get some of the same sound like y'all make two different types of music and i, I love both of them like i love you as a solo artist and then when i hear y'all together i love love that too but it's different you know what i'm saying it's, yeah. it's not the same thing so i guess i, I couldn't yeah, I could have figured that that y'all been making music for some time. Is it just yeah, the way that I always looked at it? It's like, man, when when I'm doing Hustle Zinc, I got to represent the brand. So it's the core. It's the way we've been doing music. You know that 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 core. But when I break off and I beat Devin, it's like, man, I can completely one hundred percent live in my truth because 
being Devin ain't always the, the place to be for Hustlers Inc. or whatnot. But when I'm on my own time, it's like, man, we are that. So right. yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> makes sense, man. Let me, what's what's next after this project? Because I think this this project is gonna be the one that kind of is that bridge, you know what I mean? Where everybody gets to just be like, okay, maybe if I was on this side of the bridge before, now this project is here. This is the one that's going to, I think, cross people over to the other side and be like, all right, man, I, I got to I gotta put some more respect on, on these cats here. I got to listen to this. I got to check out all five and then go back in the archive and check it out. So what's next after that? Yeah, I mean, after you get done checking out these five, go check out the first one, Hustle's Inc. 1. This Hustle's Inc. 2 that just dropped. Um, after Hustle's Inc. 2, I got a Smoke Break 2 coming out uh, on 420. Then I got a collab project with my homie Slum A15 called Stoner Brothers. Uh, that's coming out on 420 as well. And mm-hmm. then after that, my, my next project after that, I haven't decided if it's going to be end of June or the first week of July, but it's called She Make Me Feel. Um, I actually just finalized that one and got that finished before I um, finished Smoke Break 2. I'm still actually working on Smoke Break 2. But um, that's going to be on the way soon. And Vic working on his uh, solo project. Uh, that's on the way. It's, it's nonstop grind, man. My goal for this year was six projects. So it's yeah, nonstop grind. Keep it going. Let me let me ask you a quick question. My bad, Jay. Uh, do, how many uh, solo projects do uh, Vic have like right now? Uh, well, historically, all time, he had two, but, you know, it's been a while. So he ain't done on streaming platforms or anything. So this would be the first one. Okay. Is, you know, that's the back part. Yeah. Uh, I got a question. Um, my man is that's, that's, uh, that's f- featuring on these joints, um, on this new project that's, that's, that's doing a thing. Is this man signing Hustle Zinc or, like, <laughs> where, where, where do y'all find him? Because that motherfucker... Yeah, he, he's almost like no. You I said you got Devin and, and and his boy Vic, and then seeing like he completes each song. Mm-hmm. All right, that was uh, something new I noticed. On, yeah, on this project, it was. It was Shout out to uh, Tone Jones, man, the uh, the producer for a lot of these tracks. I can't even take credit for that. Like mm-hmm. you know, that's that's his work. <laughs> so oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that was something I noticed right away, and I was like, I like that. I like that feel. It's different. It's different for y'all, definitely. And I was like, man, this cat, man. I didn't want to give him, you know, a little comparison. I was about to say, why they got Johnny P? Not, not for real. But, <laughs> but, but I was just saying, like, you know, remember when, when that era of Johnny P just, it's just like you could not hear him? Mm-hmm. You're like, man, this cat is killing everything. You know, and that, that's yeah. how I felt like. I'm like, man, this dude, like you said, he just perfectly fit. Like, right in there. Shout out to, yeah, is that Tom Jones? Yeah, Tom Jones, man. He, he just crafted a sound that fit well with us, so. That's what's up, man. That's a good producer for you, man. Hey, it's some, it's some grown grown folks music right here. Yeah, man. Let me... <laughs> grown folks, you, you feel me? Which one? Uh, <laughs> just give them a little preview, man. I, I said I was gonna do this this episode. Uh, just a little preview. We, we previewed hey, the the G way. Yeah, in. bro. And this is, I'm gonna <laughs> let you know right now, Devin. My man, the tone has been he he been geek to try to try to play the music on here. I'm like, man, this music must be that damn good. I'm like, hold on, bro, it ain't released yet. We can't play. He shut me down last week. <laughs> I was like, all right, we'll hey, wait. I we'll appreciate wait. that. But hey, it's out now, so have that. Yeah. It. yeah, even better. This is this is a million, man. This was my favorite. When I first started listening, this was my favorite. Here I am, and I'm feeling like a million. I'm gonna make it with my plan. Y'all don't understand what I am. Oh, I'm yeah. a billion. Oh, yeah. I understand. Had to grind my way up to a hundred grand. And I'm feeling like a million. I'm gonna make it with my plan. Y'all don't understand what I am. My focus on a billion. Y'all never understand. Had to grind my way up to a hundred grand. If you don't like me, you probably don't probably like don't money. Like money. Yeah. I get FaceTime from the bitch. You the one that eat us. Yeah. I'm the one that treat us. Yeah. Make a pay for my price. I let me you say that. Dick aggressive, man. Yeah, will be fucking around. Crypto money, it's insane. I'm connected. So a meal to me won't look like a thing in a second. My mind different. They do average shit. I like that man. Beat. That's yeah, that that production, that versus that that go hard. That was my I, 
I, I told you, I think right away, I think I hit you back about that one. Like, yeah, this is my standout right here. This, this is, what was the motivation behind that? Did that one just happen? Yeah, man. It's so crazy though, because most of the music that me and him done did, it all happened in the same spot. We'd be in his basement, be down there smoking, just playing beats. And this particular one, I remember when the beat just came on, I was like, oh man. And I came up with the hook like super quick. That day I had wrote like five or six hooks. I was just in the zone, just knocking them out. And um, right after I wrote it, then I ended up writing the verse and whatnot, Big start working on his. We probably put that whole song together in like 20 minutes. Wow. Mm. That's what's up, man. And hey, that, that's a beautiful thing. And that's when you, and you can recognize that you got two good artists that can, can that can go off each other. And I noticed that I'm saying looking at I don't think I don't I don't think if if, if you don't smoke, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think you, you you can even work in the same room with Devin. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know real quick that Vic smokes, and I don't even know the man personally. It's enough, and, and you, it, like it's almost like it's just a certain energy and they both flow off of each other you know what i'm saying when, when they're coming boot and i mean I, you know I what's the that. crazy thing about that? that i'm actually the baby smoker in my circle oh like, my god i only been smoking <laughs> i ain't been smoking for 10 years i've only i've only been smoking for maybe like five six years now at this point it's just like man when i when i create passion about something i'm all in all you have been passionate about two things is music and weed so that shit just all in and it just like man took a life of its own but back then, he was one of the people always tried to pass me a blunt. And I was like, no, I'm not smoking that. Like, man, don't like that in my car. Like, so wow. even when we man, was on tour, it'd be like occasionally I hit it and then I just didn't like it. And I think it was just like switches and shit. That wasn't my thing. So I would have never guessed. <laughs> Do you think um, you know, smoking it uh helped you elevate your um, your, your music as as it was as in the last five or six years? Or do you Absolutely. think it's, 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 it's kind of been the same and it's just, it's just grew with time? Absolutely. I think the first time I was on here, one of the things I said was like, man, the difference between making music then and now is this. Like, mm-hmm. it, it it allowed my brain to just be more free and bring different thoughts out or whatnot. And a lot of times when you hide, you putting that stuff on the page. Sometimes when I write songs, I don't even know what I'm putting down. Like, it's just what I'm feeling. It, that's how it happens so quick, because it'd be like, I just be feeling it, and then I just like, and next thing I know, it's a song done. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like, 10 minutes pass, you know, 20 minutes pass. And that's then, awesome. I mean, other yeah. times, it'll be ones where I got to work on it a little harder and be a little more detailed, but for the most part, it really just, that's how my brain works. It's like rain, man. That's what's up. You know, that's, that's actually a damn good strategy, because I think about so many people probably get writer's block based off of trying to stay on pace and trying to write about one thing but when you're just writing what you feel you can always come back to it later and then it, I, didn't, I didn't really think about that but yeah i mean i i guess it would be a lot more free you know if you're just in there writing what you feel mm. you know what i mean as opposed to having a subject and i gotta write about this like i gotta write about this gold mic you know what i'm saying after about a verse you probably like damn i'm stuck what more can i say about the gold mic you know what i'm saying mm. but if you're just in there writing what you feel you probably don't wrote three verses and you can come back, edit, take something out, you know, put something in. So I yeah, I understand that. Yeah. There's some songs I've done that I write like seven, eight verses to, like just because I'm in that zone when that when that right. particular beat come on or whatnot. But it's 20 years of experience. It's something I've been doing almost every day of my life for 20 years. Like I wake up, brush my teeth, roll up, and put on the beat. Like that's my routine every day. Mm-hmm. What'd you get me to say? Uh, um. So in, in, even even when it comes to even starting a a, a a a actual song and getting the beats together and the lyrics, like, um, do you have somebody that 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 that, that you can people that you can reach out to to get beats, or do you make your own beats? Like, how do does even starting a song even 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 come about? Well, it's uh different. So a lot of times, like I, I have a lot of beats, like just on stack from different sources or whatnot. So I have a lot of them already put together. So I just go over them. Like I might, like right now, I probably got like 56 beats on my phone. So until I do a song to all 56 in the beats, I'm going to just keep running through the list, listening, see what I can create to it. And then, you know, if I get stuck, I'll move on to the next one. But it's always like I go back to it later. If I like it once, I'll like it again. The idea comes. Right. It's just a matter of, you know, what it is. So 
Um, but it, it happened in different ways, man. It's like a lot of it is relationships. Like I've known a lot of people for a minute. Um, internet, like a lot of people have reached out to me based on like hearing something I did. Um, like my, uh, my homeboy chopped out Danny. Um, y'all gonna have some work for me and him real soon. But I, you know, we met on the internet. Now we boys, like we, you know, communicate all the time. He send me beats all the time and stuff for that. Like, it, it's cool. a lot of stuff just like that. Like people who be fans of hip hop and be like, yo, I want to do something. But I'm going to get back into production real soon. That's uh, actually my goal for this year. I'm gonna, uh, It probably won't come out this year, but by next year, hopefully I'm going to produce a whole project for myself. That's for sure, man. That's, that's talent too. I've I seen a, a, a couple cats that, that's into that you because you don't see it often because it's it's time consuming like you know especially when you real meticulous and you you like a a perfectionist at it you like man because it, it, it's almost never going to sound right to you because it's you so you keep going yeah. back and keep going back and yeah it's, that's time consuming like Royce Royce of 59 is one of the cats that just like is in a Said he sit in the studio almost all day long in his crib. You know, he's like, it's one of the best things I could have ever done. Like, he wish he would have did it a long time ago. His studio in the crib, just like, man, a lot of production. And, but I mean, I'm sure everything ain't going to be produced by you. You know, you send some stuff out, but still getting like, the format. When I first started doing music, I started with beats. Like, I wasn't even rapping at first. I started with beats and then I got into the rapping. And then one day, somebody told me I suck at rapping. And it made me so mad that I never made it <laughs> yeah. again. I just started rapping, like, and now I got to the point where nobody says that. So. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it, man. That, that's that motivation right there. So, what would it take um, for you to get my my brother out of retirement? Do you you gotta tell him he sucked because I don't know if you know that Tony used to rap too. Oh yeah, I retired. Yeah, we, we gonna have, I'm gonna send him a record one day. I'm just gonna man, hit his email. I, I send him stuff all the time. I'll be sending it to you too. You just don't open the shit. But, <laughs> look, the way my email I'm a, set I'm up is, I always check that motherfucker unless I know some some something good. And that's crazy. I didn't pay no attention. But it's you know what good. I think it'll take though. It's for y'all two to share a blunt. I, I think Tony, <laughs> Tony, most definitely. I'm telling you, bro. I, I think that, that's what it'll take. We share a blunt. You're going to be waiting on my verse. <laughs> I'm going to be hey, man, you off work right now? When I come back out there, bro, I'm taking you to the studio. We're just going <laughs> to throw on the beat and chill. We're going to see what happens. Hey, I'm just, just don't give me nothing to smoke because I'm going to be asleep. <laughs> It'll never get that verse. I'm going to forget. <laughs> oh, that's why I was here. <laughs> uh, nah, I got some weed that'll put you to sleep, but I got the kind that'll wake you back up too. It's a lot of tricks. Okay? <laughs> oh my god! Go put me to sleep and wake me back up. <laughs> oh man, let, let me get into this this next joint. What you think about this, Jay? It's running. Oh, I think this might be one of them. Yeah, this is one of ones with my man. You suck with I went crazy on the grid. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm running. I go far and far and far and keep on running. Running from death and haters. I'm trying to stay ahead. Yeah. Cause these niggas will clip you over some petty bread. I move different, I think different, the money different. The money running different. from broke, these niggas too broke to pay attention. I'm in my own lane. I don't follow no man. Nah. Make sure I tell my kids this a cold land. Cold I don't land. know where I'm going, but I'm moving ahead. Moving ahead. Dodging traps and bitches in pursuit for the bread. Yeah. I'm running laps, a long way from running packs. Oh, Had to oh, ask oh, if it was worth it, if it wasn't, I detached. Oh, I attack, oh, hate oh, things, oh, it's oh, business, oh, it's oh, no oh, feelings. Oh, Whatever oh, life give me, I promise I'm going to kill it, still living. Mama said you blessed, you got them angels with you. Angels if they ain't you. dead, then make sure you got a banger with you. I move by a different code. Different Got a different vision, let them niggas chase them hoes. But I'm running. I got a question for you coming out for this song. Mm-hmm. This, this, I know it's not like this for everything, but for the most part, format wise, is it like Vic lead batter, lead off man, and you the closer? Is that how it normally the format? It's crazy. Does it just happen like that? No, whenever it happened, it just happened. Because on the first project, people asked me, like, man, you know, why you always let them go last here? Or you let it, you go first? So 
it just really just be a matter of how it happened. We don't happened, ever yeah. plan it. It just that's what I was saying. Yeah. I I can I can low key see this song, or I I can, I can hear it somewhere. It 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 it'll go good. Like you know how um I don't even watch Power no more, but this song sound like I I I, I can hear it playing on Power yeah. like on on the intro or something. Yeah, or I can on see Tyree running. <laughs> <laughs> with this plan in the background, I might create that meme today. <laughs> man, because Tyree hey, you know, that. all across New York on foot. I don't on know foot. how that man. <laughs> mm-hmm. And five hundred dollar jeans and seven hundred dollar shoes. That's amazing. Like, yeah, I like that. Man, man, never man. scuff a thing, man. Right, man, ever. Brother raised them right. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a, a song for a shoe endorsement. <laughs> I like yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, hey Nike, holla at me. You're right. Get at him. Nike, I hear that. Speak. Okay, speaking of which, not to switch from music too much, but let's just say, because I know you got a lot of things like people don't know about you uh, personally. I know we never really get into like personal uh, topics too much, you know, outside of the music. We try to stick to the music because that's the focus. But let's just say in that endorsement deal just did happen. And Life changing, you know, life changing money. What's the what's the goal? I don't even want to say for Hustlers Inc. because I don't want to speak for Vic with him, with him not being here. But I'm saying for Devin, what's one of the goals that you know once the, the life changing or, or life changing money comes in, what what do we do? What, what's your next move? What do you want to change? I know it's something that's on your mind. Yeah, well, see, the first thing is once the money come in is really reinvesting into the brand to grow that further. And as that continue to grow is to figure out how to water back into that plant. So, you know, you figure out, you know, different businesses and investments to do. But my ultimate goal was uh, gentrification. The mo- one of the most inspiring things that I ever seen in my life is what Jay-Z did to Brooklyn. Like, if you remember, like, all the movies and the gritty tales about what Brooklyn was, and you look at what Brooklyn is, now it's a tourist attraction. Yeah. I'm going to do that for Joliet. Like, that's one of yeah. my goals. Like, you know, create change around here like man because i one of the things about it is man for people who are from here it feel like such a black cow because everything that's always happened here you've always been in it's always been around and things like that but i know so many people that move there be like man it's a better situation than i've ever known mm. like and to me that'd be crazy it'd be so mind-blowing but it's like man I, how can I do that for the people that's here? How can I make them feel like this is the better? How can I make them feel like, man, this is mine. Let me appreciate this. I don't even want to throw garbage on the street. But it's, yeah. it's going to take time and resources. And, you know, when it gets to that point, I'll be back. But, you know, that's that's, that's the end game for me. That's what's up. Because people look at gentrification as a bad thing all the time. But, you know, it, it's not always, always a bad not. thing. Funny you said that because I just seen something um, – uh, the other day, and it was um, they was talking about Cabrini Green and how it used to be, had a picture of how it was and how it is now, and you just look at it like, wow, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. But it, it but it ain't always a bad thing because I think I, I get it where some people be feeling like they're forced to you know the poor is forced to move and they're pushing in you know <clears throat> the white culture or whatever. But I think sometimes it could also help people to to make a move that they would have probably not have made. Well, no, it's more than one type of justification because I don't want to make nobody's move. I want yeah. to teach them how to rebuild. Rebuild, exactly. Now, this, yeah. I get it when you're talking about just tossing people out. We shutting this building down. There's nothing you can do. We're going to knock this down. But yeah, when you when you have a plan in place and you're able to relocate people and like you said, you know, helping people rebuild, now they're seeing opportunities that they would have never probably even thought about. Because a lot of times when you're in projects, you that's what you think. You know what I'm saying? You kind of closed minded, you know. So yeah. It's like so, one of the things I talked about on Raw Take Two a lot. Like it was a lot of blended things in that project. And I and I started with 2 a.m. and Joliet. And I said, you know, they don't want me to talk to you people like this. That's why I take the real slugs and put them into the clip. But a lot of that project is focused on, you know, building and uplifting and you know doing right by your community and stuff like that. A lot of those things is in there regardless of whatever the other overtones is or whatever you get from it. I always try to take some type of line of message and, and throw that in there because somebody had told me long ago that the best way to teach somebody something new is by injecting it with something old. Mm-hmm. So 
it always stuck with me. So it's like, man, okay, we can we can talk about this. We can give you this because this is also a part of my life. This is who I am. But I'm about this now. I'm about this time and whatnot. And just finding the perfect way to blend it. And that's what Devin music sounds like. Not necessarily Hustle Zinc. Hustle Zinc is, you know, a, a different thing. And that's why I like doing both. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I love it. I like that. I like that playing. Yeah, and you talking about that fight alone, you know, just doing what you uh, what you're trying to do for the town, it, it's tough, you know. And I mean, the only thing you can do is do, do your part. Because I I look at it like, man, you no, know, you people say whatever they want about you know where they came from or it, shit, just Joliet alone. But I mean, it's like you said, it's almost because it, that's, that's kind of like how I felt. Like almost like after I realized that, man, like. You don't have to, you know, you don't, you don't actually have, have to be here. Then when you move and then you look back, and it's just, it just seemed like, you know, I, it, it, it's, it's just, it's just tough when, you no, know, you look back at somewhere where you grew up at, and you, and you, and you see that the situation isn't getting any better. Like I can go back home and look at it now, just, look, just look at how the neighborhoods, and if, you know, what I'm saying, just if. The, the houses and stuff and just things just being kept up. And when you're seeing the other side of it, you're seeing a lot of businesses closed down. You're seeing just people not not, not taking care of the neighborhoods and all that. It, 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 it kind of frustrates you to the point where I see why it pushes a lot of people out once they, because like, so for me, it didn't, to me, till I was, what, 27 years old to realize, well, shit, it's not that hard to move. I mean, but at the same time, it's almost like, you know, you still had that, in the back of your head, like, man, like, this is where I grew up at. And then you, I'm like, man, but it, it, it looked rough. Like, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? It, it, if anything. And that's why I, I like that. What you even trying to do on your part, whether it's through the music or through whatever you're trying to do, just to, you know what I'm saying? Just to show people the good side of the Joliet. Because, I mean, if any, if anybody that's not even, not even from there look at it, especially if you follow the news or the past, and it ain't nothing but bad that you hear about. Yeah. Most part, I yeah, but it gotta be good. It made me like, and what yeah. you just said that's the definition of small town blues. Like, when you try to hear, like, I know for most of my life, I never thought anything other than Joliet existed. I remember the first time mm -hmm. I dated a girl that was from Chicago and she took me through the suburbs. That shit blew my mind because I've been here all my life and never knew it existed. <laughs> never knew oh, I could yeah. take a car ride 20 minutes away and yeah. go see this that, shit. Like, man, that's like, how I was. Yep, yeah. I went to Champaign, Illinois. For basketball for a tournament in Larry I'm like, I thought I was in a totally different state. I'm like, man, like stuff like this exists. And you like this ain't even that far away. Right. right. We just drove yeah. an hour. Yeah. 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 That's that's the beauty of, you know, that's one thing I always said I I wanted to show my kids, like growing up, like trying to just vacation, you know what I'm saying? Every year, once a year. And I don't care where you go, like you can go a few hours away and it's not home. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same environment. So just letting them know that it's, it's so much more out there, man. I, I think that goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. And, and, and that's it's crazy. But, you know, like you, I've got some people that I know that's my age that still are in that box. They just. That's crazy because I say that was crazy for people that's my age that's in that box. So it's. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Think about somebody 40, man, and they ain't never been. People, yeah, nowhere or or, but yeah. a lot of I, I know some people that the the box is there to be open. They just don't want to open it. They, yeah. It's closed minded. You know what I mean? They just yeah, don't. that's what it is. Yeah, they just and don't. Some people do gonna die with the same mentality they're born with, and it's mm -hmm. it's a fact of life. Like everybody is not meant to change. Yeah, yeah, and that's yep. one of the, the the most prevalent situations in the black community is we create these struggle bonds, and we start growing and realize that we want to be a part of the people that do change. We feel like we still have to be connected to what don't, don't change. And we don't like we, you don't owe nobody nothing. Like you can right. go and live your life, and if they really fuck with you, if that love is real, when you come back, it's gonna be like you never left. And if it Man. ain't, do you need it? Man, one hundred. It's it's so crazy. Yeah, we can get back to music. Uh, my Uber driver um, yesterday, he's from uh, from Cuba, and I was I told him I, I was I was uh, I, 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 well, I told him I, I, was, I was from the Chicago, area, you know, and he was like, oh yeah. He said, uh, 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 you know, I look at Chicago and in, in New York and just beautiful cities. He's like, yeah, I was looking to move uh, maybe around like the south side. <laughs> I started laughing at right across the mouth. Like, I said, Can you just make sure you do your research? Because I'm like, yeah, because I, I found some some, some nice, nice houses on the south. So I, I understand not every part 
on the south side. It's yeah. rough. I was like, hey, can you just well, say, you man, said, I'm laughing yeah. because just do your research. As soon as you said the south street side. names out, like, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, you sure? I'm like, hey, Whatever man. street you got moving into, type that on YouTube. See what video. <laughs> right. He moving over there by the uh, Sox Stadium. They done redid all of that. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Psh, totally different, bro. Psh, talking about. I was just over there a couple of days ago. It was, yeah. Man. Way different. Way different. It's nice over there. But yeah, that. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> bro, uh, it. it <laughs> <laughs> you know, he even had a laugh after I told him, yeah, man. Because people like you gotta think about it with, with Chicago, as people looking from the outside in, they look at a beautiful uh city and all this. Uh, so of course they make they make everything look good from the outside, you know. But he was telling me because he's like, man, because I, I I looked at houses like up north, not so he was saying how it was tougher for him to move to like up north, and not even knowing that certain parts were were, were, were rougher. I'm like, yeah, you. Just, most definitely got, got to do your research on that, but uh, yeah, it, 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 that tripped me out. <laughs> I tell people all the time, downtown Chicago is beautiful. Everywhere else, look at from the highway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. keep, keep it pushing, like save yourself. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's, up. I just, it's crazy because I've worked in Chicago for a long time when, you know, when I was there, that's most of my work or around the Chicago area. But it's I just could never like live I mean, I always said I couldn't live like in that downtown area. I guess, I guess that's because of family and stuff like that. I just because I seen it. Like I, I was downtown almost every day. So I, I see, man, I see who moves down here. You rich, uh, very small family, maybe one kid, or maybe a dog. Like them people, like <laughs> a dog can move downtown. <laughs> yeah, they have yeah, dogs in apartments. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> everywhere. I thought you said a dog can move downtown. Oh no, <laughs> I said with a dog, a dog too, like. <laughs> That's who you see down there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's just like, man, I the, the congestion that that life is just, man, it ain't me. I'm just, I'm just I'd rather be in the city. Yeah. And going back to music, Dev, I got a question. Um, do you have any like um, shows booked uh, this year? Uh, you know, because I, I I remember you when you last time you was out here, you you uh you did some out here in Houston. Do you got some uh, lined up, or are you just yeah, solely? I- Focusing on the, the 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 creating the music part right now. Yeah, I got um I'm having conversations right now. I'm trying to get some more stuff lined up. Uh, stuff mm-hmm. that I had lined up, I ended up having to cancel to take care of life and shit like that. But um, mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna be getting back out there real soon, man, because everybody starting to ask me, so it's time. That's what's up, man. Let me let me slide in the uh, blowing. Give him a little taste of this one. I know we got you for a limited time today, so I ain't gonna, I'm gonna hold it too long. Yeah, we good, man. Rock up. Light up, nigga. nigga. Wake up in the morning and I need it. As soon as I light it up, I'm feeling like a genius. I'm smoking on that lemon kush. OG, break it down. Roll three. Going green, getting green. Nigga. Going in my DJ bag a little bit. I'm gonna give him a little bit of Devin. I know we've been giving him a lot of a lot of victories. So. <laughs> <Man, laughs> that's all good. Are we interviewing the wrong guy? <laughs> hey, we on the same table. That's all good. Yeah. My DJ bag. Not the same. Star among the clouds. I keep the finest strains. If I roll up, I call her by her name and probably burn it with a bitch without the same exchange. Chase the money like I still live with hunger pains. Comfortably dumb when I'm smoking. You think you're packed the same? I'm one of them niggas that y'all gonna read about. If I'm in the building, the chronic reeking out. All of my niggas get money, so ain't no leech about. I break down all my problems and blow the reefer out. I wake up in the be fair. I want to be fair. I want to give, give them the whole group. <laughs> you got your bag on, on, on that. I, I, I'm yeah. just paying attention to them lyrics. It's so crazy how this man gets so creative when he can get, when he can be real lyrical and keep referring back to something about smoking but <laughs> it can pertain to everything that's, that's going on like I, I i that's why i was i was, I was always like a big fan of like wiz khalifa like right, growing up because i went back when i was in college because i actually was smoking and just like when, when you when you're at that you at that level of course the the just the music and the beat alone you know what i'm saying just how you flowing but you got 
some lyrics that can pretty much bring you in and out and sit in here and compare like my weed and this weed to <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything is going like, bro, that shit is creative. That shit is fucking creative. And yeah, Devin, you most definitely get guy in your bag on, on this track right here. Yeah, you most definitely. I appreciate that, bro. Is this man, the- shout out to Weirs. I was late to the party on Weirs, man. I, I ain't really start listening to Weirs until I started smoking. And went, but when I did listen, I went back and went through the whole catalog. I was like, I was the same way. That vibe weirdo. is missing. Like, <laughs> I'm a weirdo. I don't smoke and was on them. Yeah. Pause. Man, like, bro, I, it, but this was, I want to say 2011, 2000, 2011 when I started listening to them. But just like that, I said, I didn't start listening to them until I started smoking. It was- didn't know nothing about with it. Studio was a song that put me on the whiz. Mm. Like way be- that was before Black and Yellow. That was before mm-hmm. that was before his mainstream success. He was still like a uh, underground. He, he had success underground, but that was before he really hit mainstream. <clears throat> now that that song, but I don't know. Like I said, I was I'm, but I, I always been like that. I'm not a smoker, but love smoker music like that. I don't know what it is. It just puts you in the vibe. Like, it's, it's, it's the freeness of it, man. When when, when the motherfucker smoker. And they get into that creative energy. You can tell that it's just free. It's just naturally yeah. what's on my mind. These are genuine thoughts. It's, it's almost like the hippie movement all over again. It's the closest that you can get to it is just that particular authenticity. So it's no matter what the topic is or whatever they're talking about, you just can feel the rawness and the realness and the expression of passion for it. That's what it is. And it's crazy. I, and I, I can tell, I can, I can almost tell when what a rapper is on when they rapping. Like you can tell mm-hmm. the motherfuckers all perks and popping pills and shit because you, you you hear it and they rap like how they rap. Shit, I said like, they go the tell motherfucker you. Just smoke. You can tell yeah. the motherfucker like like you can really tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm laughing because uh, at Devin's last show here in Houston. Yeah, <laughs> remember my man? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, he he could have hosted, rapped, uh, sang. My man has so much energy, but he you can tell he was off one. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Like, yeah. I for one with my own eyes seeing him pop them damn perks before he got yeah there. that, damn <laughs> that shit took that man to the next level you yes he did saying? he was in there stomping he was dancing <laughs> I, I mean he could not dance you could have put on church music and he would have danced I, he was in there he was in it. everything everything that's my man, man. <laughs> cool cat too. I don't want to say his name because we saying he popped his perks yeah. shout out bro <laughs> cool cat though shout out to him man so pretty, pretty much like me when I drink <laughs> yep, that's <dance, laughs> everything. He love everybody. <laughs> that's the, that's we, the was, we was outside. He had asked me if I wanted one of the motherfucking pills. I was like, no, nah, bro. But after I seen him in there, I'm like, well, damn, should I freak it? <laughs> hey, I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, I feel like dancing. <laughs> do I feel like dancing? Because that's the conversation you have. You want to pop a pill? Well, I probably would have ran home from up north that night. Yeah, <laughs> I had to perform after him. I was like, man, who the fuck did this? Like, why ain't go first? Like, I ain't had that much energy. Like, right. That man has <laughs> so much energy. He was in it. I got a question for you, man. Before we before we start to wind down with the interview, I know we got one more one to play. We'll play that on on the way out, but. We always talk about the positive. Let me ask you, what's what's one of the hardest things to do in the creative process with a group? Because you, you ain't always, the thoughts ain't gonna always line up. The, the thought process, the, the vision ain't gonna always line up. What's one of the hardest things that y'all had to work through as a group and hustles in? Uh, the, the vision don't always align. Like sometimes the things that that I want to do aren't necessarily the things that he want to do, and vice versa. Um, and there's you know sitting down and constantly having those uncomfortable conversations because I'm, uncomfortable conversations are necessary. Because man, you know you're not really tight with nobody. You can't have no uncomfortable conversation. But right, we have a lot of them motherfuckers. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but really, that that's really. It, everything is not the music. The music is the easiest part. It's mm-hmm. really the, the business and trying to figure out the roadmap because if it was up to me, I'm a lab rat. I'm, I'm like worse. I sit in the studio and I never come out and I just make songs and I can crank out 20 million songs a year. This is what I love to do. Right. But I don't necessarily want to get into the, the business aspects and sit and think about those things. 
And sometimes in my head, I'd be thinking like, well, if my contribution to the group is music and I'm cranking out all the music, why don't you come up with the other shit? But that ain't realistic either, you know, because it's, yeah. it's business. But um, no, like I said, for the, for the most part, like I said, everything be cool. It's just how we want to go about doing things. And, and like I said, we, we usually are able to find a resolution to the problem, but I mean, sometimes that resolution may take a day. Sometimes that resolution may take a week. Right. So, you know. You you most you most definitely answer that question completely right. Because if somebody would ask me about that and they come to me and tell them this podcast, I ain't got no filter. I'm like, man, when I turn this camera off, I'll be like, fuck this nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> but no, uh on a serious so yeah, like, yeah, that that's dope. And for to hear that music is the least of the issues, anything I got to go through is even better. That's why when you figure everything else out, the music, you know what I'm saying? It just flows and, mm-hmm. and, and, and it shows on this project. Like, you know, uh, I know I, 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 I like when artists do the do these like, like the, the, the EPs or my like shorter projects and everything, you know, it's pretty much getting to the punch and you know what I'm saying? And get, getting out. Cause I think a lot of people aren't able to do that, especially people that don't you know what I'm saying that we, that, Still is like uh, up and coming, and I, I'm not even trying to c- c- compare like uh, Hustles Inc. to like a like a bigger artist, but I look at it if it's somebody like still trying to trying to be known out there and maybe putting out a little short project that that doesn't show everything ab- about that artist. You're like, man, okay, I, I, I don't sound like that, but man, I want to hear more mm-hmm. to the point where you got somebody that you know you, you got a, a good sound, and I said, and then even with with, with, with Devin and Vic, they, you know, what I'm saying they flow good together that they can put out a five song project and, and motherfuckers can, can listen to it and get exactly what, what they want to get out of that without having to put out a 20 song project. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the good thing about it. And I, I actually haven't even listened to this song, uh, the, this project the right way. You no, know, uh, just like, I know you, you always say when, when, when you riding in the car, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And I think, yeah, see, yes. I, I I I listened to this song while I was pre-gaming um all yesterday. Mm-hmm. Drinking. I've been drinking since like <laughs> we're gonna talk about that, but you no, know, and, and, and 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 for me to actually get into the project, not even in the car, because I believe shit a, a lot of music, that's where you really get to hear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good is when you riding in the car, which is good to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I no, and, and I was going, I was going like, man, I hope I don't listen to this and I can't really get into it because I'm not listening to it the way I, I want to. So I'm like, okay, damn, like it, it, it's bumping. Why I'm in the, uh, I'm where I'm at. So I can't wait till you know what I'm saying when I'm on the road working. You know what I'm saying and, and turn that on. You know what I'm saying and, and just uh, ride with it. So hey, I appreciate y'all for, for that project. It it, it it most definitely you know what I'm saying just good hearing that type of sound nowadays. Yeah. I love it, man. And it's authentic too. Like y'all, y'all not changing, trying to sound like what's hot. Yeah, y'all, you know, y'all creating the lane. To what's hot, you know what I mean, and I I appreciate that. That's like, uh, like what what Griselda is doing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like they're not trying to latch on to what everybody, you know. Let me get that South. Let me get that Atlanta sound. Let me get that Atlanta beat. Let me. Nah, nah we are gonna do what we do. We are gonna get with these legendary producers and some producers y'all probably never heard of, <laughs> and, and we are gonna make magic, you know. Yeah. But let me slide yeah, on in. Desperation for me. Stuff. I'd have never started doing music again if it wasn't for Griselda. Like. Watching them wow. do what they do, and even more so when I find out they ages. So I was like, Man, "Yeah, these niggas yeah, older 40. than me." Like that was a big thing for me like, too. Forty. <laughs> that that was a big like. I took a huge appreciation when I when I found out the ages of. I didn't care at first, just listening to the music, but that was kind of like a bonus, like you said, because of course you know they tell you um, you got an expiration date in rap. It's just like you know sports. They say, "Oh, you hit thirty, you old now." You like. Rap, you hit yeah. 30, 35, you're like, no, you can't do this. Like, you cast is in shape, <laughs> getting busy. With, with I'm never going to stop again. Yeah. I feel that, That's man. A wrap. I feel that. Let me give him a preview of this letter from the streets, Devin, for you. Uh, and I'll let you close this out, man. I'm stuck in my past, now to relapse. I keep running like back perfect to close you. <laughs> Try to refrain, but your neck is so sweet and sweet. I keep running back.
Look, you tried to get away, but you keep running back. The streets just call, so why you coming back? I put bread in your pocket, now all of that is facts. I was the first one to introduce you to all them packs. Remember, I was there when nobody would give you shit. I showed you how to take a half and turn it to a brick. I put paint on your whip, had the shit dripping. Showed you how to turn every day to Thanksgiving. I showed you the most money that you ever seen. I was with you every night when you were serving fiends. I was there when niggas told you came home to me. Remember them lonely nights you said you never leave? So now you packing up. You must be tired of going to jail plus the lack of trust. I think it's safe to say, I think you had enough. But you'll be back for more. Be back for more. Because leaving me is tough. Oh, hell no. You're going to play my verse. Oh, okay, absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to do is pause it there. And then I'm going to let you say your piece. And then we're going to close out with you. I told you <laughs> how, how I looked at it. This, it just felt like the lead off hitter and then the closer. That's how it felt. That, and I know y'all didn't do it that way. I'm not saying that. I'm not. That's no shade, no disrespect. Nothing. It's just the way that it lined up. I was like, man, it sound how, yeah. how it I mean, came. On the out. first one, there was the other way around. It was like I went first a lot of times and he went second. So Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of people that asked something to me about that too. But it, it really just be. Uh, what we ever we go in there and do, and then what we go through and pick for the project. And then, out of all the projects that I done put out so far, this is the only one that I did myself. Was like, I heard these songs, I put them in this order, like I did the sequencing and all of that. Oh, no. Everything else that I did, I got to do opinions and sequencing over. This one, I just felt in the letter ride. That's the vibe, it's the vibe, man. <laughs> but it came out beautifully, like. And no, no arguments here. I was just wondering if how y'all did it because I know everybody got their own way of do, doing things, you know. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder if this is something they actually talk about. But I, I figured probably not. It's you know in production, and sometimes it's the way the verse sound. You know what I mean? Like you, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even noticed it until you said it. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because I just as many times I listened to it, it really just came to me today, and I was just because I just kind of listened. And then when we started listening on the on the podcast, I'm like, hmm. I noticed Honestly, that he he first saw every song on this. Like, hey, <laughs> right, it's like hey, he come through. So. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Closing out, man. What's 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 on your on your radar? What do you want to say? If there's anything out there that people have to know about Hustlers Inc. and Devin and Vic, what's the message, man? What what are we what are we doing? Man, it's uh authentic music, man. It's that, that, that classic feel and classic never go out of style, man. That's why it's always going to have a place. It's never going to sound dated or anything because it, it, it feel like it's supposed to be here. Um, cool. Continue to follow us as we continue to grow. Uh, you can follow me at uh, DT1512 on Instagram. Uh, Devin Hustles Inc. At, uh, on YouTube. Uh, Vic at Hustles Inc. on uh, YouTube. Uh, Victory815 on Instagram. And uh, we got a lot coming. Like I said, right out there, uh, this, you know, go stream this everywhere in the world. You can go find it on any platform. Um, but after Hustle Zinc 2, I got a smoke break too. I'm in the lab cooking that up right now. And then, like I said, I got a collab mixtape with my bro, uh, Slim 815 called Stoner Gloves. That's in the works right now too. So I'm working. But she make me feel when I come back around in the summertime, that's going to be different because it's not a smoke project. It's going to be. It, we're gonna have to have a whole other sit down and conversation about that when I start sending. Matter of fact, I sent you one of the records in your email, so it's, yes, it's gonna be crazy. Can't wait to get to that, man. I'm I'm proud of y'all, man, for just just this grind, man. This this push. Uh, hold on. Jay, yeah. Jay heard you say <laughs> something about sending me an email, so now I'm getting oh. a look. <laughs> did, did, hey, did hey, Tom. Really when it? you get a chance, <laughs> when you get a chance. Play that on the loudspeaker for Jay because if I send it to him in the email, he ain't gonna hope. <laughs> I absolutely will. We're gonna listen to it together. He ain't got no choice. <laughs> you ain't ain't like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to put these puzzle pieces together. <laughs> nah, I, I ain't get them right shit. <laughs> nah, uh, I just yeah. sent him the email right before we started doing this. <laughs> you, you gonna hear it? You gonna hear it right with me. <laughs> I hope these emails ain't got no money attached to it. I want some. Let me. We gotta definitely. Look. I'm sorry. Uh, to you. Gotta get that shine. Just to refrain, <laughs> but you hey, nice. Right. 
No, how could you ever evolve, nigga, who raised you when you ain't had the means to eat all, nigga, who gave you the keys to it all, nigga, all, nigga, I made you. Dreaming by the check when cash, the one that paid you. The audacity, I gave you money, women, and jewels, and now you laugh at me. Just like your heights do cane, you run back to me, and I control it all, little nigga, turn up the gravity. Uh, the pressure heavy, you right. And don't forget again, you owe me half of your life. The other half, I charge to the game. I'm nice, but I ain't saying this twice. For some call clout, they shoot you on sight for me. To you, that's powerful, right? Stick around, I'll bestow you my might. Before accepting, no, this is for life. The only out is to die. You choose cage bullets and knife. Uh. Stuck in my path. I just want to let you know you went to space on that verse. Bro got aggressive in the beginning of this verse. You hear that? Oh, you go race. They both was aggressive. We got a big time about listen. And then them come on. Man, y'all wasn't playing with this show. Hey. hey. Well, I mean, for Devin and Hustlers Inc., we are Tone and JP, the Lady Street Podcast. That was a great, great interview, man. I, I love that we was able to preview the music in it. Yeah. In it. So that's great. You know, just keep it fresh. You know what I'm saying? You get to respond fresh off of, you know what I'm saying? What what's going on? So yeah. shout out to you, Devin. Shout out to you, Vic, man. Thank y'all for being a part of the podcast. Thank y'all for sharing y'all music with us first. Um, go check that out, man. Hustlers Inc. 2. Mm -hmm. um, it is out now. It is out now, streaming everywhere. Um, five, five tracks. Um, there's a previous Hustlers Inc. first one. Five tracks. Um, I went back to that, listened to that as well. It's good music, man. Good music. So check it out. Sir. Got anything on the way? I'm sorry, no, I cut you off. Oh, no. oh it, it, it was going to be a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so until the next time, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this interview. Shout out to everybody that rock with us. Um, thanks to the new followers, the new eyes that's on the podcast, everybody that's <clears throat> rocking with us, pushing us forward. We thank y'all, man. We thank y'all. Thank y'all. Till the next time. Peace.